Lesson 12.8, Problem Solving Classify Plain Shapes. We're going to learn about Venn diagrams in this lesson. We can use the strategy, draw a diagram to classify plain shapes by drawing a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram is a diagram, it's a drawing that shows relationships among sets of things. In video 12.4, we used a Venn diagram to describe polygons with parallel or perpendicular sides. This is a two-circle Venn diagram. This one is labeled parallel sides, this one is perpendicular sides, and look, in the middle of them, where they overlap, it's both. This hexagon has parallel sides, see? This has a perpendicular side, it makes a right angle. This has both parallel sides and perpendicular sides. It's in the middle of the two circles. So the section where the two circles overlap is where the things are alike. It's where something has both parallel sides and perpendicular sides. They share traits from both. And Venn diagrams help us sort and classify things. What type of quadrilateral is both a rectangle and a rhombus. So what do we need to find? We need to find which quadrilateral has the same traits as a rectangle and a rhombus, that it has both. And remember, all quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. So we're looking for something with four sides and four angles. Now I'm going to have this chart of quadrilaterals on my Facebook page so you can take a screenshot of it or copy and paste and print it. And we can see that squares, rectangles, and rhombuses all have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. Look at that. They all share that. And we can use the information in this Venn diagram to identify the shapes in the overlapping section. We can see these are all rectangles, these are rhombuses, and look! What type of quadrilateral is both a rectangle and a rhombus? It's the shapes that are in the overlapping section. It would be a square. Where does this shape belong in this Venn diagram? Let's look at the labels. It said this circle is quadrilaterals, yes, that has four sides and four angles, so does this, so does this. It says this is polygons with right angles, these have right angles. Where it overlaps are quadrilaterals and polygons with right angles, a square and a rectangle. So where would this fit in the Venn diagram? It's got one, two, three, four sides, so it is a quadrilateral with four angles. Does it have right angles? Yes, it does in these two corners. So it's a polygon with right angles and it's a quadrilateral. It's both. We can fit this shape into the overlapping area. That's where it would belong. It shares the traits of both circles. A Venn diagram can be used to compare more than two sets of objects. Here we're comparing three sets of objects. The red circle are quadrilaterals, the blue circle is polygons with sides of equal length, and the green circle are triangles. Where they overlap, they would share those traits. So remember, quadrilaterals have four sides at four angles, and triangles have three sides and three angles. These are quadrilaterals. That's a quadrilateral. And it has sides of equal length, so it's in the overlapping section. These have sides of equal length. And look, this triangle has sides of equal length, so it's a triangle and a polygon with sides of equal length. Now, look at here. There's nothing here. Well, there's nothing here because a triangle and a quadrilateral are two different polygons. It would have to have three, sh three sides and four sides to fit here and have them of equal length to fit here. We can't have three sides and four sides at the same time. That's why this is empty. 
So where would this square go in this Venn diagram? It is a quadrilateral. It's got four sides and four angles. It is a polygon with sides of equal length. That's the definition of a square. But it's not a triangle. So where do you think it would go? If you said it would go here, you're right. It would go up here, away from the green circle, because it's not a triangle. But it is a quadrilateral, and it is a polygon with sides of equal length. What can we name each circle of this Venn diagram? We need to write a label for this side and a label for this side. We have a pentagon, an octagon, and a triangle. And if we look at them very carefully, they all have equal side lengths. We could name this circle polygons with sides of equal length. Now, what can we name this side? What do these all have in common? They all have four sides, don't they? And they all have four angles. So everything in this circle is a quadrilateral. And where they overlap, we have a square. That's a polygon with sides of equal length, and it's a quadrilateral. Here we have an empty Venn diagram. We need to put the correct shapes into the Venn diagram. This circle is for triangles, and this circle is for polygons with a right angle. We need to put these into the Venn diagram where they belong, or maybe they don't belong. So, let's start with this shape here. It is a triangle. Does it have any right angles? No. So we're just going to put it in with triangles. What about this one? This is a rectangle, isn't it? So it's not a triangle. Does it have right angles? Yes, it does. It has four. So we could put it over here. What about this shape? That's not a triangle. That's a trapezoid, isn't it? Does it have any right angles? No, it doesn't have any. So we're going to put it outside here. It doesn't belong in the Venn diagram at all. What about this one? Here's a triangle. Does it have any right angles? No. So we're going to put it here. What about this shape? That's not a triangle, is it? Does it have any right angles? Yes, it has one here and one here. See on the bottom? So we can put it here. What about this big guy? It's not a triangle. It's a rectangle, isn't it? And it has right angles, just like this little rectangle. We can put it here. What about this one? Here's a triangle. Do you see any right angles? No. So we're just going to put it with triangles. What about this shape? Look at this shape. Look at it very carefully. If I make the bottom straight, this is not quite a right angle. It's a little bit less than a right angle. And it's not a triangle, and it, so it doesn't have a right angle. It's a little bit on a slant, so it's going to go over here. It doesn't belong in our Venn diagram. What about this one? That's not a triangle. That's a square. Does it have right angles? Yes, it does. So it can go over here because it is a polygon with a right angle. It has four, but it's not a triangle. What about this? Here we have a triangle. Does it have a right angle? Yes, it does, right here in the bottom. So it's a triangle and a polygon with a right angle. It's both. We could put it in the center. And what about this shape? It's not a triangle. Look at this. But it does have right angles, doesn't it? So it's a polygon with a right angle. In fact, it's got two. We can put it here. So Venn diagrams are great because they help us sort and classify things. We can easily see the relationships among a set of things.
We're going to relate shapes and fractions in area in our next lesson, 12.9. Keep trying hard. I'm so proud of you. And remember to hit the like button for me. It tells YouTube that I have good videos and good lessons. Have a wonderful day. Bye.